Hello, and welcome back to The Learning News. Any news from Great Bridge High School this morning? Well, Great Bridge High School has some new classes you should check out. Ooh, what are these new classes? Well, they have an opportunity for advanced placement students for classes like AP European History, AP Economics, and AP Government. Wow, those sound cool. And I heard there's another class called US Issues. Ooh. Let's go check that out. All right, in one minute, how would you describe this course? Uh, this course is a college ready course that's going to prepare students uh, to uh, for college and also to understand not just our government uh, but also political and social issues facing the nation um, why our government works the way it does and how they can get involved to make it better okay what can students expect upon taking this course students can expect to not just learn information about government and politics but to actually take that information and find how to apply it to real world events. And they can expect to uh, engage with their fellow classmates in Socratic seminars and discussions uh, related to those topics. Okay. Uh, how would you differentiate this class from AP European History and AP Econ? Well, AP European History is a much more um, detailed content oriented class that focuses on obviously the history of Europe. AP Econ is more theoretical. My class is a bit of a combination of the two. Okay. So this class is a year long course and it's comprised of two AP classes, AP Micro and AP Macro Economics. AP Micro Economics is um, a, uh, a focus on kind of business level type production work. We do, uh, uh, we focus on um, how much you produce, when to produce it, how to produce it. We focus on, um, let's see, monopolies and, and different things like that. Um, AP macroeconomics is more uh, at a bigger level. We focus on government policy regarding to money and economic issues. Um, the other portion of the class is what makes it interesting and it kind of sets it apart from uh, other courses that are offered here uh, is that it's also we add in uh, personal finance as well so for juniors who need um, the wise credit uh, or personal finance credit they can also earn that in this class so they can earn AP micro AP macro and personal finance as well what would students be expected to do taking this course uh, students taking this class should be just just understand that they're taking an AP course uh, that, that the uh, workload is uh, higher than in other classes, that uh, they're expected to read, they're expected to do independent work, independent study. Um, they should understand that it's economics, um, that there's some math involved uh, as well. It's not your typical social studies class uh, in that way. Um, but it's a fun course, uh, and I encourage people who are interested in earning AP credits to, to look at AP Econ. What makes this class different from other history or social studies classes? Well, it's different in the sense that they're, you know, it, it's kind of a math class that's a social studies class. Um, but I don't want that to scare people off because if I can do the math, trust me, anybody can do the math. I'm not a math person at all. Um, what makes it different though, again, what most kids have to have is, a, uh, is the WISE certification and the personal finance portion to graduate. Uh, they get that credit or they can earn that credit in my class. So again, it's kind of a three for one deal. Um, so we will focus on personal finance, credit, banking, checking, all of those different things in that AP class as well. So it's an opportunity for students to kind of knock out two classes in one. U.S. Issues is a current events course. It's an elective for juniors and seniors. And we talk about all different types of current events, including climate change, um, um, Facial recognition, so technology and intelligence in America. We watch CNN 10 and we do lots of different projects that are um, current and relevant to today's world. Uh, what expectations are placed upon students who take this course? Students that take this course uh, are expected to uh, collaborate with other students, participate in projects, and really there aren't any formal assessments, like there's no tests per se. Um, Everything, as far as assessments, are project-based. What differentiates this class from other government classes, such as AP government? 
Okay, good question. Um, government um, really focuses on the structure and function of our government here in our country, whereas U.S. issues expands upon that. Not only do we talk about government and politics, but we also talk about, again, like I said, climate change. Uh, we talk about immigration. We talk about health and wellness for the individual as well. So a variety of topics that you will not talk about necessarily in just government. Why should students take this course? Students should take this course because I think it's very important to stay current in our world and what's happening um, every day, every day something new is different and so it's very important to be um, up to date as far as today's news. AP Euro is designed essentially to prepare students for college and along the way we hope that you actually learn something about European history. I do focus mostly on trying to teach students long-term skills that they'll be able to carry with them throughout their lives. All right, what are students expected to do in this course? Well, I can't lie about that one. You're gonna be expected to read and write, um, but along the way, we're gonna um, go through a lot of experiences and challenges together, but we're gonna go through them together as a class. All right, what are the benefits of a student taking this course? One, I'm crazy and I like to scream and yell a lot. So students usually like to, to be screamed and yelled at. Um, one good way to uh, judge how well a teacher is liked and how successful they are is to pan around the room. And you'll see that I have like 30 kids in here every single day for lunch. They come in here not because this is the most comfortable place to eat, but because they worship me. I am like their God, their demigod. Um, and so I try and make history fun is, is the point that I'm trying to make. Um, yes, I know that history can be born. We, you, know, you think of history and you want to just slam your head against the wall, but I try and prevent you from doing that. So I'm actually saving your life probably. And lastly, what is the difference between AP European history and AP government or AP economics? Um, AP European history is much better than those other two classes. I know those two teachers, and I'm sorry to say that they're, no, I'm teasing, they're actually really good teachers. Um, AP European history focuses on the history of Europe from 1450 to pretty much present day. Um, and you, to try and understand any other history outside of Europe, you, you have to know European history because it is a major part of world history. There is no United States history without European history. There is no United States government without European history. So it, it's really the foundation for Western civilization. Oh, so AP European history seems like an interesting class, and it's a super fun teacher too. Ooh, what about AP government? Like, we sure love Mr. Connor. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Learning News.